Senator Wyden, I want you to know something. And I mean this for the, from the bottom of my heart. I'm a Democrat. I've been a Democrat my whole life. I like you. I really do. But you got to change on vaping. I vote. And I've always voted. And I always will vote. So you better take it serious. Because ain't nobody playing about this. People are tired of this. You're, you're, you're not treating this right. If you can, if you can get the, the law fixed for the people that like growlers, then you can get the law fixed for people that bait. woke up one day and thought, wow, um, I can't remember the last time I had my smoker's cough or the last time, you know, I wheezed at night before I went to bed or wheezed in the morning um, before I was drinking my coffee. You know, I, I know that vaping has saved my life. Um, I believe that vaping uh, is cutting many, many, many years uh, off of people dying. Uh, and I believe in this product and this business and this whole industry with every fiber of my being and you know, we'll fight with our vapes in our hands till the day we die. I was the guy that was chewing, smoking with a patch on my arm, with lozenges in my pocket, um, and uh, you know I, I was doing all four trying to quit. The whole thought process subconsciously of smoking like I knew that I wanted kids and I wanted a family and like um, I knew that I was killing myself nothing worked until I picked up the baby I enjoy watching the light come on in people's eyes you know when they come in and they're high-fiving us and they're like, man, I, I had my last cigarette 14 days ago and I'm vaping, I'm feeling better already. You know, we get all these stories and people come in and they're so excited and I mean, like, that's why we do what we do. Whether I am able to stay in this business or not, you'll never be able to take away the fact that I helped hundreds upon hundreds of smokers quit smoking and their lives will be better because of me and this product. Understand the fight against vaping is a fight against people. The war on drugs is a war on people. The war on vaping is also an extension of that. It is a war on people. And when you join big pharmaceutical companies in their demonization of this life-saving harm reduction if not harm elimination would be closer to the truth, you are fighting the people that you represent. With, with all the, the negative press and cloud blowing that, that gets done in this industry, the, the thing that keeps me coming to work day after day is the people who are 45, and up in age uh, who have no idea about these these options um, and educating them and then seeing their progress as they start using these products and and eventually you know weeks and weeks go by and they come in and say I haven't had cigarettes in one week I haven't had cigarettes in two weeks it's been a month now and my heart just kind of grows in size every single time that happens And we need to save these products, save small businesses like Division Vapor, save the dozens of other vape stores across Oregon, and make sure that these products are available to the hundreds of thousands of smokers 
in the state. I've written Ron Wyden so many letters, so many letters, personal letters, personal letters about me, about vaping, about my vape experience, and every last time he sends me, guess what, a form letter, which pisses me off.